Today we're sponsoring one of you, Freedom Family, with a special gift that'll help you make better videos. I'll announce who and what the gift is later on in this video. And we've been sponsoring many of you in the past. Do you remember the 110% revenue shares for the community team members who've been active on the Freedom Forums at www.community.tm? Should we do that again? You don't even have to be partnered with Freedom. Your channel can be outside of the network. And as long as you're helpful down there in the comments, in the forums, on Discord, we will notice you and sponsor you. Let me run a pitch by you. How about we give you 110% revenue share for all the videos on your channel that feature the games we publish, be it a walkthrough, a review, a let's play, anything. We've published one game so far. It's called Dreamscaper. Click that eye to see the game in case you haven't. It's a Steam game that's out right now for $20. And we'll give you a game key so you don't have to pay $20. What about we also give you 110% revenue share for every video you make surrounding that game? Is that interesting? That's one of the many ideas we are kicking around internally. If you like this one, tell me down there in the comments below and I'll share more ideas in future videos. But that's how we as Freedom want to get you sponsored to reward you for creating great content and give you things that help you make better videos and grow faster. Tell us what other kinds of sponsorships you would like to see. I'd love to know. Now, let me introduce the person who got sponsored today. It's this guy. Do you recognize him? Let me play a clip. I recently got a ring light from uh, somebody who was very, very kind, very, very nice, and uh, who shall remain nameless. I don't know <laughs> who it could be. This is Anthony's ring light in action. Does it look better than without? Anthony also made a video about Minecraft no, close the door. Anthony also made a detailed video about Minecraft on our MGN Minecraft server right here. And he contributed it to our MGN Central channel. Click that eye to see this video behind me. And if you would like to contribute videos to MGN Central, do so by talking to us on our MGN Discord server, especially Big C, who is running the show. The link to the MGN Discord is down there in the description below. Anthony made a full video unboxing the ring light and giving you the details in case you want to get it yourself. And if you want to get sponsored similarly, just contact one of our Freedom team or email support at freedom.tm and tell us why you feel you deserve a sponsorship by Freedom and we will happily consider everyone who applies. Now, let's roll Anthony's video about the ring light. Hi there, my name's Anthony. Please forgive the really bad audio, but I'm currently in the middle of trying to move my setup. Or anyway, you don't care about that. What you do care about is the fact that uh, this video will be an unboxing for a product. I recently got a ring light from uh, somebody who was very, very kind, very, very nice, and uh, who shall remain nameless. I don't know who it could be. The following video was created for a few different reasons. One, to put up on my YouTube channel. Two, to put up on this YouTube channel. And three, to put up on Amazon. Posting Amazon reviews of your gear can help get your face in front of new people. So like, let's say you create politically based content, but you get a ring light. There's a good chance that somebody who would never have searched for politically based content or I don't know, slime content or whatever it is you're making, there's a good chance that they would never have uh, never have thought to check you out. But hey, guess what? Now that you're on their product review page, they're checking you out. Hundreds or thousands of people all checking you out. Now you know what it's like to be a girl with an OnlyFans. You got everybody checking you out. Uh, I feel bad about that one already. Without further ado, on to the video. Figured I would do an unboxing and place a link down in the description, which yes, is an Amazon affiliate link to this very product so that uh, if you want to find out more about this ring light, if you want to uh, potentially get this for your own setup, uh, you can do so. Oh yeah, give me a little while and I will show you all about this sweaty green light. Sweaty? Sweaty? How do they pronounce this? S-W-I-T-T-I. -T -T -I. All right. Anyway, back to the video. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and skip right into it. This is the US version, which has a slightly different plug, but yeah. I believe they also have this for uh, Japanese, European, uh, UK, and uh, something else. Uh, so we're gonna like, open this up. 
Now, there were a couple of things that really stood out to me about this particular ring light. Uh, we'll talk about those as we kind of uncover them. So let's pull out the first bit. Uh, the second thing is actually way down bottom in the box, uh, which is actually the tripod that comes with it. It's not a standard tripod. Uh, this is actually the kind of tripod that is largest at the bottom and uh, has a lot of neck up top. Let me show you what I mean by that. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. comes in this little compact little thing, but uh, this, we will free it up so we can move it. So it kind of gets to a point and that's just as far as it can go. That's where you want to go ahead and tighten down this little lug nut thing here, little wing nut. Uh, I've been called a wing nut a time or two. Uh, and then here, there are other little wing nuts and you can essentially make this uh, as tall as you would like. Uh, so one of the things that really spoke to me about this is the height of it. Uh, this actually gets a little bit taller than me when uh, fully extended, which is great because I am about six foot two. This is not fully extended, by the way. Um, it has another section. But I'm about six foot two, and uh, I find it really hard for when I'm in a standing position to find tripods that are able to still like look look at me in the eyes, and or maybe be a little bit above me and looking down, which is a more favorable angle for me, uh, because I have a side. That's actually something that was super important to me. And uh, the carrying case was another. So we're going to open this up. Everything comes pre-packed in this carrying case. Um, which is really, really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and unzip this and take a look at what is inside. Just unzipped it and we will pull it out. All right. So it looks like in transit, one of the, uh, the plates right here came off. That's fine. We could actually just snap that right back on there. Uh, these snap on and off uh, with from what I understand, a relative amount of ease. Snap, 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 and there we go. I do need to do a little bit of slipping around, and everything snaps together. So yeah, there you go, that's the actual ring light. In the bag itself are a couple of things. This is part of the uh, power brick, if you will. Um, Good long cord, I uh, believe this is gonna be uh, like a pretty darn long one. Uh, five, six feet. Uh, and there is a bit that actually, uh, after the power brick makes it a little bit longer. But as you can see, you know, it's definitely longer than my arm stretch by probably a couple of feet there. So that's uh, it's really nice. Another thing before we get into what's in the box is this, this is actually a uh, I believe it's Bluetooth camera shutter type dealio. Uh, you're supposed to pair this with your uh, smartphone or other device to essentially uh, just go ahead and stop and start your recordings. I've actually had other ring lights in the past that came with things like this and I had very mixed results about what worked and what didn't. Um, I will hopefully make a follow-up video at some point or just simply drop it into other future videos to let you know whether this works if I ever get around to actually trying it. Um, now, here in the box, here, let's go ahead and set that off to the side. Um, let's see here, of course, it's got to be taped shut. Why is it taped shut? All right, here we go. In the box here, there is a another uh, travel carrying case thing. Uh, this is not for the light itself. This actually looks like it is for the tripod about the right size and shape for it too. Um, so this one would go over your shoulder and, and what have you. Um, so this actually has, uh, so this can mount uh, on a standard thread for a tripod uh, and you can fit a, uh, like an iPad or something along those lines here. This is the promised power brick. As you can see, there's actually quite a bit of cable there. Um, so that's uh, really nice. Uh, I would definitely tell you to keep up with this uh, as it is 15 volts for amps. Uh, that's not a very common uh, thing to find. Um, and also the end doesn't seem to be anything special. However, um, I'm just letting you know 
that uh, you know, 15 volts, four amps is not something you commonly find for laptops and things like that. So uh, definitely keep up with that. Keep it out of the hands or the paws, should I say, of uh, your cute little furry critters because losing that would be a pretty big uh, bad time. It does come with a couple of adapters allowing you to essentially mount something as if it were a hot shoe uh, to your camera uh, for like a DSLR or what have you as well as uh, what appears to be simply a, what is that, uh, about an inch and a half, two inch spacer. A cell phone holder, this is, comes in handy, uh, mainly because the, tri or the ring light itself actually has somewhere for you to plug your phone in if you're using your phone to record. It's got a USB power source, which I suppose could also be used for some DSLRs and cameras as well. And then here you have a ball head. These are really great because it allows you to get uh, you know, a perfect angle and whatnot uh, for your shot. And of course, last but not least, I believe, if memory serves, yes, this is the uh, remote that goes to the ring light itself. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, plug it up just real quick and see if we can um, see if we can test it out. So as you can see here, there is a uh, a spinning wheel here at the very bottom. You want to go ahead and spin that out where it's almost completely gone. Set that on top, uh, and then it should kind of click into place more or less. Uh, once you get it to be bottomed out entirely, then you can go ahead and tighten this down, and it will get a lot more sturdy, a lot less wibbly wobbly. So as you can see there, we're a lot more sturdy than what we were. It's not wibbly, it's not wobbling here. It's just wobbling a little bit because it's top head, which is to be expected a little bit. So the remote itself actually doesn't appear to ship with a battery. You will need to supply your own, but that's perfectly fine. Those are a dime a dozen. As you can see, I've actually turned this on and I've turned it on and faced it the other way so it doesn't blind you or blow out the camera sensor. Um, as you can see, it is rather bright, so we'll go ahead and turn it that way, which appears to be a little bit more favored for the camera. Uh, you can adjust, here we go, so what we're doing now is we're just adjusting the amount of power to the device, uh, but we can also, and here's one thing that absolutely made me fall in love with it, um, we can actually uh, set the color temperature as well uh, via the uh, remote meaning make it a little bit more yellow, make it a little bit more whitish, bluish, and so on and so forth. That is really cool. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let you go for now. Uh, let me know if this video has been helpful to you. I know it's not my normal kind of content. I apologize for that. However, uh, this is definitely something that's probably going to be a big, did I just say it's definitely something It's probably? Wow, okay. Anyway, this is definitely something that I am planning on being a part of my content, and uh, have, there's definitely going to be a difference in the kind of quality of the videos coming up. So I thought it would be a little bit odd if things changed in such a drastic way, and I didn't include you. So please, I apologize about the non-standard content, but uh, it gives me an amazing opportunity to go ahead and uh, uh, link my Amazon affiliate link, because if you support this channel, even if you don't plan on buying anything from Amazon, that link there doesn't hurt. Um, anyway, uh, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. If you've ever done anything with video or editing or what have you, please also let me know because I am always up to uh, have a new, ex uh, new experience or what have you when it comes to this stuff. And uh, if you have any gear that you would recommend, also let me know. Anyway, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that absolutely, positively make me love my job. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye. Thank you, Anthony, for that review. Tell us down there in the comments below what you think of Anthony's video. Give him some feedback and tips on how he can improve. And tell us which of you feel you should be sponsored or recommend someone who you think should be sponsored by emailing support at freedom.tm or contacting Anthony, Big C, me, or anyone on our community team on the forums or our Discord servers or down there in the comments below. All right, Freedom family, who am I? 
I am your Papa George, your George Sunpai, the Minecraft noob, because I was criticized by Ninja Joe for not knowing what a giant mushroom looks like in the game. Uh, now I know. I am your Papa George and this, uh, how does it go again? I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! For freedom and the freedom family where we all help each other grow together as a family. Today, I got my exercise. Actually, yesterday I got my exercise. I went to the gym. I did 30 minutes of cycling, not outside, but on an exercise bike at level 16. And I really pushed myself. Lots of sweat and I feel so good. Then I did some weight training. What kind of exercise do you do, Freedom Family? What's your regular session at the gym or outdoors? I'd love to know. I plan to go swimming today, 40 laps, one kilometer. We'll see if I can get there. It's uh, getting a little dark and I may not make it, but I'll try. No excuses. Yes, I will do it. And I'll make the video next time telling you that I've, do I've done it. All right, now I have to do it, keep my promise. Freedom Family, stay healthy, stay fit. It's important. And if you like this video, click the like button. That's important too. Subscribe to Freedom Central, also important. And gong that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Also important. All those important tasks. I'd love for you to do all of them. But most importantly, keep safe. Stay healthy and stay fit until the next episode. I am George and you've been watching. Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.